This is for my diehard BME and Mafia members. We're starting a fucking Patreon. So this way we can put out the type of shit we can't get away with on fucking social media. Plus bloopers, behind the scenes, video podcasts, merch discounts, special opportunities, and much more. This isn't for everyone. This is for the hardcore mafia that wants to be part of the brand and grow with us. While getting content you can't get anywhere else. I need some fucking soldiers on the front line. Who the fuck's coming with me? Be a man. Go to patreon.com backslash Boston be a man. Be a man. Experience. Are you with me? Be a man. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to preach? Preacher. Yep. What do you do if somebody tells you wrestling is fake? Hit him in the headlock and break their neck. What do you do if somebody gets you to figure four leg lock? Punch him right in the fucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not a world of men. I want you to be a man. You could just be a man in this one moment. I gotta be a man. Be a man. It's be a man time. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Am I supposed to be a man? Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. You can act like a man. Be a man. <laughs> fucking wrestling was real I know it is. you didn't know you better call somebody <laughs> late 80s wrestling was fucking fantastic yeah. you know Jake the Snake oh the ravishing snake ravishing Rick Rude yeah. right. all those fucking guys that were staples and like you said the late 90s too and then from like 92 to 98 nobody watched wrestling but then there was that resurgence yeah. with fucking Stone Cold The Rock, and the Rock Go- Rey Goldberg. Mysterio. Yes. <laughs> My grandmother used to torture her because, of course, all the Italians, they loved Bruno back in the day. Oh, yeah. To drive her fucking nuts, you go, Ma, <laughs> wrestling's fake. <laughs> She would fucking stab you. No, it's not. Come here. My, and my she fa- want to punch you in the fucking same mouth. Same thing with my father. He'd be like, it's not fake. You see those, those you guys? You see the blood? Those? Yeah. Teach your kids that wrestling is real. Be a man. <laughs> I knew guys at the Boston Garden. They, know, they were fucking broken down bumps, these poor <laughs> bastards. Now, we love them as kids. You see them on TV? They got in their fucking shit boxes and drove to Pennsylvania all night for the next show. Oh, yeah. For that, fucking 200 bucks. <laughs> there, was a, there was one time I, I was doing a podcast. It was probably like 2010. A friend of mine was doing tattoos for Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I wanted to get him on the, on the podcast. And he's like, is this going to be video? Is this a telecast? And I'm like, no, it's just going to be uh, just uh, audio and we're going to do a thing. We're all going to dress as wrestlers and then have you give the fucking critique on who you think is the best wrestler. And he was like, all right, this is what I want. I want $250 Western oh. Union money order. And then I want $75 in vodka. <laughs> and then I want $50 in assorted fucking Xanax and Percocet. And then I want $50 in Coke. So it's, instead of just saying I want three hundred bucks, yeah, you know, four hundred bucks, he said what he wanted, and he wanted all of those things delivered. See how they shit can McMahon for fucking inappropriate behavior. Ah, oh. they brought down fucking McMahon himself. <laughs> and and uh, like what a legend that guy was in so many different ways. It, it's it's fucking billionaire man, Vince McMahon. He started off. Doing like he was just a shitbag sidebar announcer, and he wasn't even like the color guy. But he was playing stupid. He owned it all along. He was playing the fucking stupid interviewer. He was great in that role. He He was was fantastic. But his old man started started the whole thing, right? Yeah, the old man. It was like a different. It's called AWA or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But he was he was like the guy that was he was like the Wizard of Oz, but he was in plain sight. Right. (laughs) He was the guy fucking running all the shit. But when he came out as an actual character, as like the CEO, yeah, like badass, he's all, he's all fucking pumped up. The fucking right? power walk is yeah. the best. Oh my god! The, <laughs> the McMahon power walk. Uh, I mean, not, Conor not, McGregor not, tried to do it. He doesn't do be, it too much. Nothing better. better. No, <laughs> Conor McGregor doesn't have shit on that. You need walk. to be that big glonky <laughs> fucking overbuilt build like McMahon. But, <laughs> but big, for, <laughs> big for nothing. 
<laughs> but there was there was also that like fucking just that confidence. Like I'm the CEO. I'm the swinging dick. I'm gonna fucking walk in here like I own the fucking oh, joint. Oh fuck yeah! And that whole like takeover. Walk into every room like Vince McMahon. Be a man. <laughs> How about like the uh, Degeneration oh. X? The whole the suck ba- it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> My favorite was the fucking Godfather. Once again, yeah. it's time for everybody to get on board the whole <laughs> train. And he had the hose. Yeah. <laughs> he had like 10 fucking hoes with him. It's a, like it's how, so, about, how about Val Venus? Yeah, <laughs> and those guys, Val Venus and fucking uh, and Ho Train, all those guys were just subsidiaries of right. Ravishing Rick Rude, right? right. And th- then all of a sudden, like a week later, it'd be a different character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, like we didn't know. How about that fucking Triple H? He did okay marrying the fucking oh, yeah. boss's daughter. Yeah. He? Yeah, and now because fucking because Vince McMahon ended up fingering broads, now he's the fucking swinging dick. If he blew like one load a day over twenty years, it caught co- with these broads. It cost him like a hundred grand a load, right? Cause, <laughs> right, some a uh, ten grand a load, something something crazy. Because didn't he have to pay like seventeen million or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was he's paying per load. <laughs> PPL. <laughs> <laughs> They brung him down, man. They brung down fucking Vince. That is know. a different level of success. Oh. The, th- the thing about wrestling is this. It's fucking real. I know it is. Of course <laughs> it's real. Anybody that thinks it's fake is fucking stupid. We, we were there, Tonzo, in the first row. But the, s- well, I'm saying... You saw the was- blood, right? Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck's that fake? We were there. <laughs> if you're a dwarf, never get into midget wrestling. It's a shot career. Be a man. If you're going to say wrestling is choreographed, you're 100% right. That's the proper way to say it, that it's mapped out, that it's thought of and stuff, because these people are putting themselves in fucking harm's way. They're fucking great athletes, man. They're jumping off of steel cages into fucking tables. I want to get an enemy of mine, right? Him and I won't eat for a week. Throw us in a steel cage and throw a hunk of meat in the middle. See what happens. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> Could be like fucking hacksaw Jim Duggan with the fucking two by four. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it like growing up. I always watched it. Then I didn't watch it for years. But then like the late nineties when Stone Cold and uh, The Rock and Goldberg. That was a good era, man. My God, that was fucking. That was the best. Well, Goldberg, oh. he started out, he was WCW before yeah. he was WWF. They, they got him all over. Fucking Eric Bischoff. See, going, way, ba- all over, right? going way back when we were youngsters, when Bruno oh. San Martino was the kingpin, champion of every <laughs> Italian. And they'd say, Bruno, you want to say a few words for the Italian uh, audience? You go, the Boston Garden. The Boston Garden. The Boston Garden. McMahon. McMahon. Right. So many iconic like characters. Uh, obviously, like classy Freddie Blassie. Oh, tremendous! The Grand Wizard. How you about, can't beat these fucking. Do you remember guy. those guys? Classic times? Toro Tanaka. Oh, no. uh, Mr. Fuji and Toro you know, Tanaka. Tag, tag team champions of the world. The we were kids. Is. They had this guy. Baron Mikel Sakluna. Baron Sakluna, yeah. Mike Curtis. Guess what? He was from the island of Malta. He's really from fucking East Boston. <laughs> yeah. But they said he was from the island of Malta. You know what his specialty was? He was known. It's he a had cloth. a hidden object in his pants. We they Far never object. fucking bu- yeah. He would fucking turn away, reach down and grab like a fucking little fucking iron thing, biff the guy in the fucking head, <laughs> and put it back before the ref could see him. We a- all saw the DB. I couldn't believe they couldn't catch him. How about Bulldog Brower? Ooh. And uh, oh, Smasher oh, Swan, they go, from parts unknown. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. Is that not the coolest <laughs> moniker that you could possibly have? I think that originated from wrestling. It did. When, when did you ever hear somebody refer to some? Where are you from? Parts unknown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're like a fucking outlaw. Nobody <laughs> knows where you come from. <laughs> Shady origins. <laughs> Roddy Piper was the best. Roddy right? Piper, he was great. Fucking croaked. The fucking Macho Man. I wish I wore my Macho Man Croaked. T-shirt. <laughs> fucking love him. Yeah, a lot of them croak, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. No shit. How Hogan still around though? He's still doing good. Yeah, he beat that fucking lawsuit too with that whole thing. Yeah, with, oh, with, with the, the gawker. Yep. With the gawker, man. He made fucking millions. 
Uh, yeah. That's because he said his prayers and took his vitamins. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Great, greatest, greatest wrestling song ever. Oh, t- I am a real American. Right? Come on. Ba- ba- yeah. Greatest song ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They had some great fucking songs. I don't know who wrote those songs for them wrestlers, but Billy Gunn, I'm an ass man. Yeah. Bam, bam. <laughs> what happened I'm to fucking ass badass man. Billy Gunn? They were all part of Degeneration X at one time, right? All those yeah. guys? Yeah, X-Pac. Yeah, X-Pac. X-Pac. Remember him? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They all ended up sniffing fucking glue, a lot of these yeah. guys. <laughs> they were, you know they all found? Found in a hotel room. Hang No, a lot of those guys are, uh, you know, the not with us anymore. No. Unfortunately. But it's like, if you ever want to just cry about humanity, watch the fucking Jake the Snake documentary. Oh, I've seen it. Oh, my God. (laughs) Is that the one they show him, like, last week wrestling? Yeah. The still wrestling is, like, last week? Ugh. It, it it really encompasses just the sad aspect. Like we said, like all the times we built these people up like they were fucking like the kings of the world and they were jumping in their fucking Dodge Dart and driving fucking... Fucking Schenectady for the next night to get your fucking head <laughs> broken open. Didn't Dallas Diamond Page try to help Jake? Yeah. <laughs> With his mission, whatever DDP. the fuck he does. Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's what's he doing out? He's like a fucking uh, do-gooder. Yeah, yeah. No, but does he have like some kind of herb or something selling? Does he do that? Yeah. So, something. Yeah, he's, he's got something. a bunch of shit going on. No, he's, he's a. I always loved him. Yeah, he's cool. I like him. How about the wrestling broads? Oh, uh, I Miss, mean, oh, Miss Elizabeth's dead. Mm, right? I'm all for. I try it. Wrestling broads like Miss Elizabeth oh. and fucking and having broads I'd around. Smell her ass in a second. <laughs> but I, I, women's wrestling. Go stuff your ass. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, we, saw, nah. we saw it down there, though, remember? Yeah, because they make it, it's, it's, now it's fucking equal opportunity fucking wrestling. So you have to have just as many female that wrestling sucks. matches. They were fucking, they were hot. They had small feet. I mean, they're hot, but nobody really wants to see them wrestle too much. When we were kids, and you watched it on the black and white TV on a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. They sh- go, oh, that's all, that's all we got. Right. They gave you a segment of the women wrestler, Fabulous Moolah. Bad Moolah. The fuck, and it sucked. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. wait for them to be done. <laughs> Bring the fucking boys back out. Do- Bruno had a cousin, Dominic Benucci. My man? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bruno's cousin. Show me the papers. I don't believe it. How about Strongbow? He Touché was from fucking Strongbow. Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Prince Albert. He's from Peabody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot of these guys. How about Girl of Mine? He, he had a Prince Albert. Right? <laughs> yep, that was his old fucking yeah. stick. You remember Bruno's arch rival, Gorilla Monsoon? Yes. Uh, yeah. Really a big fucking Italian guy. <laughs> yeah. Right? Another bullshitter. And Lou he Albano? Was, Lou Albano was awesome. I mean, Gorilla, Gorilla Monsoon was, like turned into the John Madden of wrestling. <laughs> yeah, he was an like, outsider. He, he, was he, was, quite, he had like a fucking size 84 fucking chest <laughs> with his tuxedo <laughs> and outs. Remember? Remember fucking crybaby cannon? He made yes. me before you. He started fucking crying. <laughs> If things went sour, he would weep openly in the fucking <laughs> ring. <laughs> Cry baby cannon. I tell you, though, I, I was... Remember Pedro Morales? Yeah. All right, so he was champ for, like, what, 11 years? Yeah, he's boring, though, right? I, those guys, like Bob Backlund, those types. I, I, I was at a match. <laughs> the Brooklyn Brawl. I swear, I swear to God. <laughs> I was at a match, and he was backed up in, against the rope. And the I forget who he was fighting, but the guy was fucking punching the shit out of his face. And they, they stopped it. And they, everyone jumped in. It was like a real fight. No shit. Oh, they broke yeah. out into a real brawl? It's like a, I was with my, my father used to take yeah. us when yeah. we were younger. Yeah. I mean, I feel like some of those things, like when you're standing there, like those half an hour fucking WrestleMania matches, yeah. you, you look at those things and you're like, ah, oh, that was a crazy match. That's a, It's a fucking 30 minute ballet with two dudes. Right. That are fucking, you know, you have people jumping off the ropes, you're injured for 30 seconds, throw them out the ring. You know, like all that stuff, the the choreographing that goes behind making a match seem personal was always like my kind of draw. The fact these guys aren't injured and crippled more often is amazing. I've been over to tie my fucking shoes, I'm hurt. I got a back, I yeah. twinge my fucking back. <laughs> the shit these people do, I know they get hurt here and there, but overall, it's pretty fucking amazing, oh, isn't God. it? Oh, God. How about the Sandman, the ECW? <laughs> Remember the Sandman? Oh, the Sandman. With the fucking stick, you come and fucking smash and tear off his head, cutting his fucking forehead open. Where's Paul Bearer and the oh. fucking Undertaker? <laughs> 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 yeah. Paul Bearer's dead. Yeah, he died. <laughs> if you're going drinking with the boys, put up Andre the Giant numbers. 
Be a man. Dude, yeah. the Iron Sheik uh, in the see, fucking 80s, hey, like right during that oh, time period. Yeah, do, you, do you see man. him on Twitter? He's unbelievable. He's, and got been forever. Forever. he's on there. Twitter. Yeah. He's on Twitter. Yeah, he's an animal. He's like, go fuck yourself. Have a nice day. He took too many metal chairs yeah. to the fucking head. <laughs> oh, good. But he's got a beautiful documentary about him. Oh, yeah. He's another I fucking love that job. He's a real yeah. Iranian, right? Yeah. Yeah, something isn't he? Is he an Iranian? Yeah, yeah he yeah. is Iranian. Yeah. And and like you think about the villains in wrestling, that was where they started. Like I think that Iron Sheik was the real first villain in wrestling. When you think of this, is someone that could just come in the ring and everyone's gonna universally fucking hate. Because he's fucking Iranian. Right. And he comes in and he's wearing the fucking headdress. And he's doing the fucking... Doing he, comes the fucking right after, he comes in right after fucking 9-11 and goes, yeah. fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> McMahon was incredible. He was a heartless lines. prick, McMahon. He didn't give oh, a fuck. You're going to yeah. be a fucking Muslim. Everybody's going to hate you. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we can't talk about wrestling and not talk about Mean Gene. No, and about me, his yeah. fucking interviews. The best. Yeah. Oh, my God. Straight man all the time. Yeah. Let me tell you something, Gene. <laughs> How about Jim Ross? Oh, uh, yeah. I was I, I was a bigger mean Gene guy than yeah. the Jim Ross guy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the unpredictable Johnny Rods? He was obscure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's the beauty of it. He was 0-95. But they said, oh, a tough match here with so-and-so. He's facing the unpredictable Johnny Rods. Go, unpredictable? He lost 97 fights in a row. <laughs> How fucking unpredictable <laughs> can he be? You know, what, what, back, back in the black and white days when we watched it, right? Um, set, there'd be like, Bruno would be fighting some no-name. Yeah, you just know right. he'd kill him. Right. Right? There's they have the, the big name against some no name. Yeah, they bring out a local guy from yeah. Boston, yeah. like some stiff. He fucking beat the There's fuck out of There's some blonde him. guy. Forget his fucking name. He was famous. He was another guy. He was like fucking one in 117 losses. <laughs> well, the, the number one guy was the fucking Brooklyn Brawler. He yeah. was the guy that they would bring out in fucking... They'd bring Hulk Hogan to a local event, but he's fighting the fucking Brooklyn Brawler, and he's going to beat the <laughs> bag out of him in fucking nine minutes. <laughs> Imagine that, that, like, just knowing that you're going to fucking take the loss. That's your job. Not, I mean, I'd imagine wrestling is hard enough, but just knowing that fucking you're going to go in and you're going to get your fucking ass kicked the whole time. I know. You have all these delusions. You want to be a fucking superhero. You want to be the guy that goes, no, your job's going to be you get your fucking ass kicked every week. <laughs> Take it and go back to unloading trucks at fucking Sears, you dope. <laughs> you wouldn't be here if you went 300 fucking pounds. Shut up. <laughs> great, great, great athletes. Right. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable athletes. Macho Man Randy Savage oh, coming best. off the top rope with the oh. flying elbow. Ricky oh. the Dragon Steamboat. Oh, yeah. It, <laughs> he, it, he seemed like he was fucking 50 feet in the air. How about the Ultimate Warrior? Oh. Oh. He's Another, gone, too, yeah, right? He's, he's they're gone. all fucking gone. Yeah, Too many gone. Slim Jims. <laughs> well, he died in a car accident. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. 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 That one, yeah. A lot of people say that there's the, the Madden football curse. That if you're on the uh, cover of the Madden video game, that you're gonna have a shitty season oh. and you're not gonna win the championship. That's like that kind of curse. This is the same thing with wrestling with Slim Jims. This Macho oh. Man, this Ultimate Warrior, all the fucking wrestlers that fucking pump up Slim Jims, they're all dead. How about no. the fucking Crippler, Chris Benoit, <laughs> who fucking <laughs> crippled his whole family to oh, death? Jesus, they didn't no go back shit. and they, they erased all his stuff, right? Did they? Yeah. I think they went back. And all the videos and erased everything. Fuck, you can't it. have a mass murderer say, eh, that's a great show from Chris Benoit. Huh? He's shit can. From Canada? He wasn't from Parts French? Unknown, was he? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> How about Mr. Perfect? <laughs> yeah, he's dead. But he lived to be in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. good life. How about Pat Patterson, the fucking intercontinental champion, yeah. who revealed himself to be gay years later? Go the ah. fucking way, man. Greg the Hammer Valentine. Greg, yeah, he was who I think of when he, I think of the thing before. He came out that was gay. I believe, right? Did he? Greg the Hammer. Yeah. And that meant something totally different in the bars he was going to. <laughs> about superstar Billy Graham? By the end of his life, he was like, you're run over by a fucking bus about 12 times. <laughs> These are people, to, like, in, like, I watch wrestling now, like, on and off, and, and it just seems like the, 
the idea, like the passion for creating a character that's something different or something that's relatable, it seems like it's fucking dead and gone. Yeah. Like there's not much more originality. And I mean, granted, it's been around for fucking what, 40, 50 years. It makes sense that as far as professional wrestling goes, that they would you'd kind of hit like a heyday all the new characters they're just there's nothing new no well, i'm zoned out i don't follow anymore do you be a man we have a lot of followers that are pro wrestlers we got riddle bro damian priest randy orton a ton of them so uh, uh, rko that's yeah. that that's a signature fucking move that became a meme where people were rkoing people uh, into water the Stone Cold Stunner. The oh. Stunner's awesome. Stone Cold's the balls. He's the, the best. Stunner. Fucking the Rock was the balls. He's a good actor too, Stone Cold. Yeah. Of course, The Rock, but the, I like Stone yeah. Cold's acting. Yes. You should have got more roles. How would you like to fucking meet him in a dark oh. alley? Who would you rather fight, him or fucking Dwayne Johnson? Fucking Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I, I would right? too. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think Dwayne has a. Half uh, half a mean streak. Right, where fucking right, right. Stone Cold has seven mean. Streaks. I feel like I'd know what to expect if I was gonna fight The Rock. Stone Cold, he would be elusive. He would be the guy that would like pick up the fucking fistful of dirt and throw it in your eyes. The best fucking, fucking <laughs> videos on YouTube when you want to watch funny videos. A Stone Cold attacking McMahon. He beats him over <laughs> oh. the head with a fucking guitar. I've watched that a hundred times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the time McMahon's in the hospital as a patient, comes Stone to Cold fucking- sneaks in like he's a fucking night like, doctor. He goes. <laughs> Oh, I'll take it from here, nurse. He grabs the fucking bed pan and beat the shit out of him. It's hysterical. You watch those? Yes. They're uh, fucking great. How about uh, he used to pull up a, to the ring in an 18-wheel? <laughs> Jump out with fucking drink a beer. That's awesome. Uh, the fucking, there's nothing funnier or like entertaining when somebody runs from like backstage. They run down oh, the whole fucking move. aisle. They slide in and they yeah. do the turtle yeah. punch <laughs> when they punch like fucking 30 times in two seconds. Yeah, that run like, and ah! slide move's awesome, isn't it? That little <laughs> sneak in move into the fucking ring. <laughs> The run and slide in, and then it's like it's almost like getting like like the uh, the star in Super Mario. <laughs> You're right. invincible as soon as you slide in. If there's five other people in the in the fucking in the ring, yeah. clothesline, clothesline, <laughs> everyone's going down. Fifteen quick fucking noogies and you're out. <laughs> Can we talk about one female wrestler? Oh, Trish Stratus. Oh. Oh. oh, did you choke the chick in the hair a couple of times? Oh, yeah. oh my god. She's fucking gorgeous. Oh, she yeah. still is. Yeah. She does like yeah. a workout thing. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was a Canadian chick. Bet you a lot of young cool. fellas choked it to her, huh? I fucking lost my virginity to a Canadian girl Did when you I was really? like 14. A ho- hockey thing. Yeah. Niagara took, Falls? Took me in a fucking closet. Oh, yeah. She was older than me, too. Nice. Yeah. They're cool chicks. Yeah. They fucking drink beer. They love hockey. They're more understanding. Yeah. They're not as hung up. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, I'd almost be like more interested in banging China than Trish Stratus. How's, she chi- just... how's China doing nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's dead, right? Yeah. yeah she had thing. a rough fall. She was the fucking number one chick in wrestling, right? From yeah. that to drugs to fucking porn to dead. Yeah. Like a victim as a whole. You know what I mean? Too bad it was McMahon like... doesn't give a fuck, though. No shit. <laughs> I like Bret Hart. Bret Hart was cool. Yeah, he was cool. No, no, no. He was very cool. He's a, he's a wounded warrior. Ever see him? He's all fucked up. Is he? Nice yeah. documentary on him, too, that's we, out there. Where'd you see that? Where you seeing these It's not like you know, Hulu or Netflix. Are you just going to oh. You have that shit? I, I don't. Can I have your password? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look up fucking doomed wrestler documentary. There's a shitload. <laughs> don't. Yeah, there's a bunch of them on Amazon Prime. There's like, a, oh. like random ones. I think there was a Rock Don Morocco fucking documentary. <laughs> Documentary. I'm like, what the oh, fuck? God. Yeah, the <laughs> ones where the guy's not super popular, those are the best ones. The guy, yeah, yeah. mid level guy, go, Because they really get fucked. Oh, you go, geez, they made a documentary about this fucking guy? And then you watch <laughs> and go, wow. It's a sad, sad story. It's fucking sad. Because they were like real pieces of meat. The late 80s was super awesome for wrestling, and then there was a dead period. The late 90s was super awesome for a while, and then there was a dead period. But what filled in the blank was almost like this backyard wrestling shit. Yeah. Oh, and, right. And that's where shit gets. That's where people are fucking smashing fucking that, halogen what, lights what, on people. Yeah. And fucking <laughs> that's where they discovered Mick, Mick Foley, I believe. Right? Yeah, yeah, he was I, one I think, of the yeah. backyard guys. He took a lot of fucking beatings, oh, that guy, huh? Tough bastard. You yeah. guys ever see one of those things? An actual backyard wrestling thing? I've seen him on YouTube, yeah. Oh. Like the, I <laughs> went to one in New Hampshire. 
where where it was just like guys that were like hanging out. It was like you were at a regular party and there was a wrestling ring set up fucking off to the side. And fucking the whole night you're just hanging out and fucking doing your do. And then they'd go off to the side, put on their fucking costumes, and then start smashing each other with those fucking halogens. That's why you see a lot of fucking quadriplegics coming out of that fucking era. What happened to you? (laughs) Backyard wrestling, 14 years old. You fucking moron. Faces are all fucking banged up and all mangled. Fucking idiot. I took a LED light to the <laughs> fucking brain. Yeah, my fucking friend dove off the fucking house roof under my neck. Well, I, I was I was younger, right? And I, you know, obviously we watched it on sa- on Saturday, right? Then used to go I used in. To love to, it. it was the best. Yeah, the, go into the garden all the time in the mid seventies yeah, or whatever. Then it kind of lost me. But then, like late nineties, after I had kids, kind of stuck at home. And that's when I got reintroduced to it. I seen like The Rock and fucking Triple H and all those guys and. We used to go to all those matches. Yeah. Me and uh, Mr. Monday, a bunch of other guys. would be like Fucking Monday Night up. Raw. Were they doing Tyson fights pay-per-view before they were doing uh, WrestleMania? I thought that wrestling was the first a, pay-per-view. No, what's that, like 30-something this year? Yeah. It was like 33. The 33? It was in the 80s, right? I think yeah, that predates Tyson. No, Tyson's. maybe it's more. It was like mid-80s, yeah. I think, was the first WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah, so was wrestling, did they create the pay-per-view event? Well, no, boxing did. I mean, they had Al- okay. Ali fights. With yeah, okay. That close, was a close circuit. Close circuit, close circuit, circuit they called it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told you, I went to fucking New York. I hooked school to go see fucking Ali Frazier one. Ooh. Fucking kid from the projects. That little fuck. If I see him, I'm going to kill him, right? He says, listen, I got two tickets, Ali Frazier. I go, I'm fucking going. I tell my Whoa. father, he goes, you're not going. You're not going. I go, I'm fucking going. Anyway, I hook school. I go. We go on the fucking bus all night. We get there. You know what the tickets are for? The Felt Forum. It was on closed circuit TV. Oh. We went all the way to fucking New York at the Greyhound. You can start the guy. Sat, <laughs> sat there like fucking assholes. I think it was in grainy black and white. It shut off like five times. Oh, holy shit. Only to come home the next day and get my fucking ass oh, kicked. I was going to say, your old man must have oh, been happy about that. Oh, yeah. He got it, but he still got to give me a beat just to save yeah. face. Well, they, our father's just looking for excuses. <laughs> Even though he loved boxing and was yeah. a fucking hooligan and he gets it, he still got to fucking give me a beat. Obviously, that started with like boxing, with like talking shit, you know, Ali and Frazier and all that stuff. But wrestling kind of escalated the shit talk to the opponent. To the fucking ninth level. Oh, the best. Oh, yeah. So Roddy, the, the, Roddy Piper was fucking the best ever. Yeah. yeah. Remember, <laughs> what do you do? Who's the guy who whacked with coconuts? Remember? Remember? <laughs> Coco Beware? <laughs> the, he fucking right. got, he said, pelted a guy in the head with a coconut. I remember <laughs> once when he was interviewing him. <laughs> you ever seen Rick Rude? Man, what characters. He was, oh my God, how much fucking chlamydia could that guy fucking stack on top of fucking <laughs> chlamydia? <laughs> That guy must have been banging ass. Oh, of course. The one Big thing push. that stands out, like, stands the test of time is that I will say this with WrestleMania, even though, uh, you know, things have changed, you fall off of wrestling, you don't really follow. It's one type of thing that every single fucking year they do it. Whether you're into wrestling or not, if you just randomly watch WrestleMania, you're going to get a fucking show. Oh, my yeah. God. They I'm made that know. thing yeah. into, like, such an end. Entity, where it's like every time you see that WrestleMania is coming on, you're like, all right, you know, to call up a couple of the boys, fucking, you know. <laughs> it's worth it, maybe, right? It's worth it. What is what is it, like 75 bucks now? Yeah, for a fucking it's a good show. They go all out, right? Be a man. Experience! One last question. Do you guys think you could hack it as a wrestler? Right now, no. Well, no, of course <laughs> not. Not now, now, but in your prime. I think yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah I in could the prime, my yeah. prime, I could. No. Yeah. Yeah, I would have been the biggest. I was, I was a slippy little prick. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. I think I could have had some nice fucking drop kicks. Yeah, I was angry. You know, fucking killer Kowalski over here. So, would you be known for your physical prowess and your technical like wrestling moves, or would you be more of a personality? I'd be more of a personality because I was a handsome bastard back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be like a ravishing no, Greg Rude. Well, people when I have my mustache, people used to call me that. <laughs> ben Burt Reynolds. Yeah, I'd be elusive. I don't know if you remember Victor Rivera. He was slick. <laughs> he had fucking nice moves, drop kick, come nice off the top rope, elusive speed, nice fucking takedown I, moves. I hope you enjoyed the Be a man. Experience. I wrote a book. Wait a minute. What do you mean you wrote a book? You can write? Yeah, these guys are soft. They need to learn how to be a man. 
This is an actual book? Yeah, it's called Be a Man, the Ultimate Guide. You can pre-order it right now on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Wow, I can't wait to become a man. <laughs>